So I noticed on all of the RC forums and quadcopter forums and stuff like that involving the Cheerson CX-20 or the Quantum Nova, um, people have been having issues with the GPS. And I have also been having issues with the GPS. And I saw a fix on the internet, but I haven't seen any videos on how to fix it. So I'm going to make a video of me fixing it here. This here is my Cheerson CX-20. So what you want to do first is you want to take the top off. Now I've already unscrewed them, but on each leg here, there's a screw here, screw here, screw here, and a screw on the end. These four in the middle do not need to come undone or the motor will come off. Now one thing I almost left out when I was taking mine is there's a screw in the battery compartment here that you need to take out from underneath. And it's right here. So then you just pop the top off like this, and let me find a place to set this down where it will be very careful because the compass is connected up here. You don't want to break this cord or all your autonomous features will not work after that. Alright, and here's, let's see, can't quite, that right there is the GPS this module right here. What it looks like I need to do, according to the forum, is... Yeah, let me find my snipping tool right here real quick. Here it is. You want to cut that zip tie. Like so. Then we want to pull it out. Now it looks like there's a piece of foam in between here, if you can see that. That keeps the shock from interfering with the GPS so it's not jiggling back and forth and messing up the signal. That is very important and you want to make sure you keep that intact. Um, I mean if you don't you can always pick one up at Radio Shack or online for not that expensive. but. You know, it's a lot easier if you can just get this off. And it seems to be coming up pretty well so far. One thing too, you want to be very, very careful not to cut these wires or um, mess them up in any way. They are very thin and, um, like I said before, none of your autonomous stuff will work after that if you cut it or tear it. So I got the GPS now, off now from there, and I managed to keep this intact, so that's great. Um, now what you want to do is cut this zip tie without cutting the cable. Now I'm going to do this off camera because I don't feel confident in my skills to do it with one hand. So now as you can see we got all this slack here so we can stick it up on the canopy instead of down here inside the controllers. Now, according to the internet, what causes these GPS issues is the electromagnetic radiation coming from the computer, the controller, and the radio transmitter. So, what we need to do is stick the GPS up here in the canopy and um, isolate it off with some foil. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it needs to be in the same direction or not, but I'm going to set it up that way just in case. Because even though it has an external compass up here, but I'm not sure if there's one internally that it uses for verification or something, but I'll just put it the same direction. Take your GPS and put it on a piece of foil like this, with the sticky side on the foil. On the foil. Then just tape it to the top of the canopy, and it should look like this. <clears throat> now, the way I understand this works is it shapes sort of like a satellite dish directing all the signal to the sky instead of down there and it also keeps the 2.4 and 5.8 signal from penetrating through and interfering with it you gotta do so then you just screw it all back together and you go fly it and I just want to show you guys I'm in my basement right now 
and I've never ever gotten it to connect in the basement before and now it's connected so that's a really good sign so I just went outside and flew it and it is so much more stable in GPS stabilized mode like normally it's all all over the place you know within like a, a 15 foot little area just kind of going back and forth it was right there on the dot like maybe within three feet of it at most um, but I just wanted to show you guys before I recorded that it's still connected in my basement it is still connected to the GPS in the ba basement not once have I had a disconnect yet so this sort of hack I guess really does work so go ahead and try it for yourself um, not that difficult I mean if you own and operate a UAV I assume you would be able to do something like this but um, yeah it wasn't all that hard I mean just tapes it to the top canopy and put foil underneath it to direct the signal up but yeah gotta say I'm really impressed and two before I end this I just kinda wanna show you guys how uh, how quickly it connects to the GPS now too so there it is connected I'm gonna set the camera down real quick while I unplug it so it's unplugged there I'm gonna leave it for a couple seconds to let it clear the memory and now we'll plug it back in and I'm gonna set the camera down for a second one more time it's already connected see that's nuts and in the basement too <laughs> like never ever gotten signal in the basement before